So here we have the Mercedes-Benz C250 on a 15 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you'll see it's a two-door coupe with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors and plenty of boot space as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the far left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. In the middle, we have the speedometer and on the right hand side the rev counter. Within the speedometer you can see the total miles of the car, they are 57,731. Beneath that we'll show you what gear this car is in, uh, it's an automatic, so we are of course in park at the moment. You can change that information displayed in that section, you could for example have a digital readout for the speedometer and the buttons to uh, do what I was just doing are over on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Over on the right hand side we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after you've paired up the phone to the car which is done over on the screen in the center just here, uh, underneath the phone heading at the top here. Uh, the movement you see me making on the screen, at the moment, uh, I was doing it using this dial just here. So when you're driving, it's very easy, obviously, to just lay your left hand on there and use the dial, but you can use any of the buttons you see on this main unit as well. So we're actually on the radio menu at the moment, for example, but you could go directly to your satellite navigation menu from here. And as you can see, nice, clear color display. It's a very, very easy system to use. Uh, working our way back down to this, we have the CD player, main volume for the stereo. We can answer and end phone calls from here after we paired our phone, which we can access from here or from the main screen, as you just seen me do a moment ago. We have our hazard warning lights. We can put the car in eco mode. We can turn on or off the parking sensors for the car. Uh, we have dual zone climate control beneath that, so we can adjust the passenger temperature and you can see the red marker to let you know what temperature you've set it at. Same for the driver's side, you can then increase and decrease the fan speed from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. And when you're happy with those settings, your air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off, back on again. Or you could hit auto. When you do so, the car will take control of the fan speed. You can hear it doing that now and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. If you manually override anything, you'll see that auto has now gone off. We have some storage inside here and a 12 volt charging socket, and then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.